The City of San Luis Obispo's Utility Department consists of five divisions that move water to and from the city. The divisions consist of a water treatment plant, a wastewater treatment plant, a wastewater collections, a water distribution system, and a reservoir. One of our main water sources is the Whale Rock Reservoir that pumps its water to the city's water treatment plant, where it is distributed to the citizens by the water distribution system. The wastewater collection system then collects the water and sends it to the water resource recovery facility, where it's treated and put back into the creek. When I started 27 years ago, we were using the DOS-based program that we're still using today. When we're out in the field, we have to, to do any changes on our pump stations, any adjustments, we have to go back to our office and make those adjustments right there. We can't make them remotely. Some of the consequences around our older systems is just the lack of data available. Right now we have some systems that uh, basically only have level available. Uh, they have maybe a pump run status, but they really don't have any alarming. The trending is not really available to them. So if they have an issue, it's kind of all word of mouth through customers. We have a zone, Highland Zone, and when we have an issue in that zone, we have a lady that calls in and says she has no pressure. And that lets us know we need to go out and see what's happening in that zone. If we had alarms, we would know instantly the pump was failing. We're choosing to upgrade because we just really want the better mobile capability and better alarms. Some of the alarms that we get are false alarms. They are just changes in status or communications alarm. We have to respond to every alarm we get, and it takes time away from our mission. iFix helps us with our regulation. Our operators are able to monitor what's going on in the system and respond to it immediately so that we can meet our compliance standards that we have to meet by being a government entity. With the newer version of iFix, we'll be able to log in with any handheld device by using the iFix app. From there, we'll be able to control each individual lift station. Part of the reason that we're standardizing on iFix is that it allows us to create screens easier by sharing it between our different divisions. They all have separate SCADA systems, but they're all using very similar things. By standardizing on iFix, I only have to know how to create stuff for iFix iFix makes us super reliable. With the new system, we can just jump on from wherever we are, from home, from out in the field. They don't have to go back to the office, and it just makes their job more efficient, and it makes the information they're getting to do their job more reliable. I'm looking forward with the new iFix software to be able to uh, make adjustments from a, an iPad or some sort of remote device to change pump settings have accurate hands-on operation to the stations at all times. A big change that I've seen with the new version of iFix is that we're able to trend. In the past, if we wanted a new trend, we would have to call up our IT staff or our telemetry staff and have them build a trend. And this sort of empowers the operator to be able to take that data point and trend it. A lot of the times you can't operate a plant unless you have all the correct data in a timely fashion. I would absolutely recommend this new software to other SCADA users. It's very easy to figure out. It helps with our job. It makes things more efficient for the operators. I take great pride in my work. Uh, I feel that as a city servant, we're doing our civic duty and helping all of the city's residents. I take a lot of pride in my work. I love, 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 love my job. As a public servant, I feel like I'm a steward to the community and the environment. Our work here is optimizing plant process to save the taxpayer money and also to protect the environment, protect the creek, protect the ocean, and the natural habitat.